Hey guys, it's me, the American, and today we have the Extreme Edge Customs Kydex Sheath. This is a Glock knife version, and I'll tell you what, the owner himself of Extreme Edge Kydex, he sent me this sheath to do the Mayor Fugly Cold test of approval. So, let's go ahead and see what the mayor can dish out. First up, we have the Cannonball Run Test, which, uh, this object is a spherical metal object. Not really sure where it came from, probably came from the moon. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and see if the sheath can withstand an impact from this. I mean, this thing is about, oh man, I'd say about 20 pounds worth of steel. It's pretty heavy, so let's see if we can withstand the tutelage of the cannonball. I'll drop it from about, uh, let's say about maybe shoulder high. Hopefully I can hit my target here. Lots of impact there. Let's do it again. A little bit higher. That was a near miss, okay? Don't judge me. Oh, that was a good hit right there. Now, there are some scuffs. But the sheath is... Oh no, the Glock knife! It's bent! What ha... No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. The sheath itself is in really good condition. Took those... Uh, took those blows with ease. Definitely. Pass the impact test. Next up, impact test number two. High velocity, mare fugly cool arm throwing action. Wow, did you see that? That whole cinder block exploded. It's because of my muscles. Meow. Let's check it out. Here, give me one second. I'll be right back. Seems like the sheath took some pretty good damage, but it is still in the running. Let's continue on. Wow, did you see that? That whole cinder block exploded. It's because of my muscles. Meow. Well, since my unmeasurable strength destroyed this you know, completely constructive sound cinder block into pieces into it just decimated it completely I've I've got to now kneel down on the ground to do test number three which is the hand-to-hand -hand impact test let's try it out all right oh no I hit the Glock knife on it and the sheath flew off well let's go ahead and check out that sheath and I'll be right back Well, the sheath took some light damage. There is some splitting right here from one of the rivets actually getting damaged on the side. But, let's check and see. It still locks in pretty well. Not too shabby. Here's our professional stuntman driver, Izzy Sub. So, uh, what vehicle of carnage are you going to use today? It's a 08 Honda Element. Honda Element 08. How many cylinders does it got? Four. Oh my gosh. Definitely a, oh man, I mean, apocalypse on wheels. Oh, yeah. All right, line up the shot. Some scuffs, some bruises, but it's holding together very well. Let's go ahead and take it for a test drive on the road. We're fishing for the night fairy. He's around here somewhere. He's gonna give us some free Glock knives. What speed are you at? Go faster.
88 miles an hour, Marty. We've got to reach 88 miles an hour to make it to the night movie. Now, this is a little bit extreme, but we'll see how well it withstands fragments from the Vepr 12 auto loading shotgun. Now, a lot of people are telling me, oh, Mayor Fugly Cool, you need to stipple your Glock stuff. And I'm like, well, okay, I'll stipple it. But these little, those little heat gun things, you know, they're like, tss, 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 smells bad. And on top of that, it, it just looks goofy. It looks like I'm doing arts and crafts. I'm not into that stuff. Tell you what, let's go ahead and stipple it like a man. Now remember, safety first, eye protection, ear protection. The range is now hot. Clear. That was definitely a test of resilience. That Extreme Edge Customs Kydex, it can really withstand the heat. That Vepr 12 dished it out, and this sheath took it like a champ. And I got some nice little stipple marks right here. Unfortunately, there's none on this side, mostly on the sheath part. But I'll tell you what, get a little bit of a better grip. The name's Bond, Smith & Wesson Bond. Here we have the MMP-22, and we'll be firing the 22 Colibris out of the MMP-22 Compact. Very quiet, extremely quiet. I mean, even <laughs> without the can, I could still not use hearing protection. It's very low velocity, uh, about 450 feet per second out of a 20 grain 22 bullet so let's go ahead and see if it withstands this torture of a lifetime remember safety first my friends range is now hot now that little colibri bullet actually hit there it skid up a little bit and caught itself in one of these rivets Really crazy. Let's go ahead and try that again. Take two. Clear. Well, those little Colibris, they didn't even penetrate the tough outer kydex skin. I mean, it was actually a little pathetic. Federal 40 grain standard pressure 22 LR. Round nose. That little Federal 22 LR put a hole inside of this side. On the other side, nothing. You know why? Because the Glock's indestructible metal stopped the bullet from penetrating. You see the little mark right there, really interesting. Well, there you have it guys and gals. The Extreme Edge Customs Kydex Sheath is pretty much indestructible and it is Mayer approved. Thanks to the owner for sending me this for my tests. It is definitely a winner. I mean, this Kydex Sheath, a lot stronger than others that I've seen in the past. I used to have an old Kydex Sheath when Kydex Sheaths were first being developed and it cracked and it, it warped a little bit and oh man, it was just such of a, horrible horrible thing and i'll tell you what this kydex is a lot better than the kydex sheets that i've owned in the past of course kydex has come a long way in molecular structure and whatnot but the owner at extreme edge kydex he uses the most premium quality kydex available on the market today all different colors in camo i like the tan i'm a tan guy coyote tan and i'll tell you what it's got the armor of a rhino extremely tough extremely durable now remember if you like this video like it thumbs up and say, you know what, Mayor Fugly Cool, you're a great guy. 
If you didn't like this video, thumbs down, say, Mayor Fugly Cool, you shot my little Glock knife with a shotgun. It was Russian and oh, I'm so angry now. Okay, you can go ahead and do that. It's cool with me. I'd love to hear your comments in the comment box below. Tell me what you like, tell me what you didn't like. You like it, leave a great comment. If you didn't like it, tell me I hated it. I would really like to know so that way I can go ahead and improve my tests for the future. Any type of vulgar language would definitely get you kicked off of my channel. So try to keep it, uh, I guess, PG. Now remember, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Every time you subscribe to the Mary Fuggle Google channel, you get to see crazy tests like this all day, every day, throughout the week. Actually, not all day or every day. It's probably more like once a week, but it will go straight to your smartphone, computer phone, tablet, PC, or uh, your mom's Dell computer. I'll tell you what, a lot of great value. He sells these for around $40 to $80, depending on size and model. This size would cost you around $40 plus shipping. So it is a lot of great value. You can change your clips. You can, there's different rivets. You can, all sorts of options at your disposal. All right, guys. Well, definitely I, I test this stuff right here. So you don't have to. That's the mayor. Thanks for watching.